The Duke and Duchess of Sussex secured a huge £112 million deal with Netflix last year as they look to make the most of their independence outside of the firm. The couple have so far announced two Netflix shows since partnering with the streaming service. Harry confirmed his first project for the venture back in March, a docuseries about the Invictus Games. A few months later, Meghan announced she would take on the role of executive producer alongside Elton John's husband David Furnish to create a new animated series entitled, Pearl. While the Sussexes have more freedom to pursue projects such as this now they have left royal duties behind, reports from February claim that Harry and Meghan wanted to live life as royal in a third way. The Daily Mail quoted a source who claimed the Sussexes planned to have scaled back royal duties, enabling them to take on independent projects but also hang on to their formal roles with the military, arts, commonwealth and sporting organizations. Speaking to the newspaper, the source claimed, the direction of travel has been clear for a while. The Queen has been very clear from the start that this half-in, half-out model demanded by the Sussexes wouldn't work and HASNT deviated from that. Not once. Their original idea was to have a third way of being a royal. And the Queen has said quite simply no, you can't. The source also claimed that the Queen offered a sharp rebuke to the plans. According to the source, Her Majesty told Harry and Meghan, You work for the monarchy, the monarchy doesn't work for you. In February, it was confirmed that Harry and Meghan would lose their prestigious patronages as the couple confirmed their departure from the royal family was permanent. A source told the Daily Mail that Harry and Meghan had absolutely no question wanted to keep the positions they had lost. They added, they, Harry and Meghan, do respect the decision but they always made clear they were committed to doing those roles. Various reports in recent months have claimed that Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, will be handed some of the new vacancies left by the Sussexes. This reportedly includes becoming patron of the Rugby Football Union, RFU, and Rugby Football League, RFL. However, this has not been officially confirmed. Lady Louise Windsor, daughter of Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex, could also be set to take on some of Harry's old responsibilities.